Hello everybody and welcome to Big Fit Nutri Nation. My name is Vic and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mussels and smoked sausage soup. And I'm going to be going over the ingredients, so let's get started. For this soup, I'm going to be using my rice cooker, which gives me the option to do a slow cook. And I already turned it on, and now I'm going to be going over the ingredients. Of course, we're gonna be using some mussels. The mussels I chose are in butter garlic already marinated. And then I have some turkey smoked sausage. I like to use turkey sausage more on the healthy side. And then for my veggies, I have some baby mushrooms here, asparagus, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, kale. I'm going to be using a can of mixed veggies. And I'm going to be using for my broth, I'm going to be using some tomato sauce. For the seasoning, some masola caldo de pollo, which is a chicken broth seasoning and some garlic powder. The first step is to add water into the rice cooker. I have five and a half cups of water in my pitcher that are going directly into the pot of the rice cooker here. And as you can see, the measurements right inside, five and a half cups of water. I'm just gonna close it. The second step is to cut all my veggies chop them off. I already started with my bell pepper. I cut halfway. Now I'm just doing strips, thin strips. As you can see, I cut all my bell peppers and I have the asparagus right in the bottom. Cut them into little sticks. Have my mushrooms open. I opened up the can of the mixed veggies. Now I'm just cutting the kale, which is my last veggie set it right here now for the protein I have my scissors here to cut the package of the smoked sausage and I'm just gonna put them together and cut them. You don't wanna cut them too thick or too thin. Then I have my container here, my glass container. Put them in and now the mussels. Be careful with the mussels because they're a little frozen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the mussels in the microwave for about two minutes for them to defrost because they still have ice. I pull out the mussels from the microwave. I put them in for two and a half minutes so they're defrost. Just gonna use the scissors and cut the back open. And I'm going to put them in my plate that I have here, along with the broth. Just be careful, you don't want to splash yourself. I to open my tomato sauce. I have my can opener here. No, oh, this thing actually works pretty good. Wow, well, nice. Uh, always be careful not to cut yourself. Put that on the side. So I'm adding a whole can of tomato sauce into my pot. And now I have the masola seasoning here. I'm actually adding two spoons, two regular spoons of the seasoning into the pot. So about this measurement here, Now garlic for the 
garlic, you can just sprinkle it in there. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Got your little spoon, you can stir it a little. You wanna stir, make sure all the condiments are mixed into the broth. Now I'm going to be adding my protein, which is my smoked sausage, turkey sausage right in here. And now with the mussels, with the mussels you can add the garlic butter. And now the veggies, we have the can of mixed veggies, the mushrooms. And the rest of the veggies, asparagus, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and kale. So I'm just gonna go to slow cook. Every 15 minutes I'm coming to the rice cooker to open it up and to mix all the veggies from bottom to top. The mussels and sausage soup is ready. So you can see we have everything cooked in here. Let's get some of those goodies in here. All that protein, the mussels, the veggies, the sausage, of course. The broth just has all the vitamins, all the minerals. And now, for our garnish, I have some cilantro leaves that I already washed right on top of the plate and some cherry tomatoes to go along just to give it that, that nice garnish, nice touch. And I have a large plate in the bottom and the reason I did that is because I have some Triscuits and some original thin pretzels to go along with my soup. Why not make a specialty cocktail to go along with my soup? I'm going to be making, showing you how to make a tropical sensation peach sangria. For the ingredients, I have some white Zinfandel Berenger wine, I have a peach sweet wine. I have a peach orchid punch. I have some peaches that I already peeled. Add water and honey into this jar and let them to fermentate for one day in the refrigerator. I have some cherries for garnish, lime, orange, which I'm going to be using a juice also as part of my ingredient. My two sangria glasses and some ice cubes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some ice cubes into my glasses here. Sangria usually takes a lot of ice because it's a little bitter and it can be a bit sweet or tarty. So there we are halfway. Now, I have a jigger here. A jigger measures half an ounce and a full ounce. Now, if you don't have one of these at home, you can always use a shot glass. But a shot glass is the same, either half ounce or a full ounce. And you wanna get yourself a little mixing stick. One ounce of the Behringer White Zinfandel wine into each glass. to add an ounce and a half of the peach wine. Why an ounce and a half? Because this is a peach sangria, so we wanna get that rich flavor of the peach into the drink. So now we're going to do half an ounce. Now move 
move this aside, we're going to add lemonade. We're going to do one ounce of lemonade. And I have an orange here, which I'm going to be cutting. Cut half an orange, cut it into a fourth. Now, you know what? I want a kick on this sangria. Let's add another ounce of the peach wine to each glass. Okay, so two and a half ounces of peach sweet wine. Now we are going to grab peaches. And I have fermented in this jar, have half a peach. Be careful, I'm cutting. And this is half of a peach. Pull it right in. Let's use our fork, it makes it easier. Pull it out. Same thing, cut into slices. Grab it at the bottom of the knife and put it right in. Now, some lemon into rings. And going to cut them in half. And adding about four pieces, four slices into each glass. And top it up with cherries. And I want this cocktail to have a little bit of a sweet touch. We are going to add some of the peach juice right on top. And now with this mixer stick, just give it a little twist. Just be very careful because the glass is pretty full and you don't want to splash any of the goodness out of the glass. And here we are, a tropical sensation, peach sangria. And here comes the most exciting part. All chefs have to try their entrees, their dishes. So let's try the mussels and sausage soup. Get some of that broth, that sausage, the little mussel right inside, fold it out. Be a little careful because this soup can be a bit messy. That's why I have my napkin here on the side. And pair it up with some thin pretzels or some triscuits. You can definitely taste a smoky flavor. I can taste the garlic, the butter, of the mussels that were already marinated in the package. The sausage, turkey sausage and smoke, it's really good, it's delicious. And like I said, paired up with some thin pretzels or triscuits. They come in flavors as well, or if you want them original, and if you want to add some extra flavor or citrus, put some, a little bit of some lime juice right on top. 
and let's not forget about my tropical sensation peach sangria delicious refreshing not very strong just perfect well guys thank you for watching and please remember to tell me what you think about all this my recipes now that I'm adding some cocktails like the tropical peach sensation sangria that I added to this video please send me some comments send me some likes tell me what you think about it and remember this is big fit nutrition nation so stay fit Stay healthy and live a happy life. Till next time.